Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again. <laughs> hey, man, as y'all can see, it's raining outside. I was supposed to do this video outside, like I've been doing, but you know, nevertheless, we still gonna get this video out. Make sure y'all like this video so we can get this in the algorithm, man. Hit that bell if you haven't already. I show my gratitude. But hey, guys, I'm gonna give y'all my secret. Something that has helped me go seven years on semen retention. If I didn't do this one thing, okay, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I wouldn't be making this video. Y'all wouldn't even know who Dante Young is. Okay, that's how important this one element is. All right, so make sure y'all watch this video all the way through, man. We're going to tap in. One thing, guys, that has helped me on my journey for over seven years, being on this streak, is meditation okay and i and i know some people feel some type of way about that you know some people they have mixed feelings about it but i'm telling you from my experience this has been gold for me not only has it made me or helped me strengthen my connection with the most high god not only has it helped me become a better version of myself it has helped me be able to control my lower nature Meditation is going to help you develop patience. Being able to sit still, that takes patience. I remember the first time I tried to meditate, I couldn't even sit there for a couple seconds before my thoughts started running crazy, before I got anxious and jittery, wanted to get up and move. But I had to train myself to be still. That's called discipline. Right? And I worked my way up. I started off going one minute. Work my way up to five minutes, 10 minutes. Now I can go as long as I need to. I've been, I've, I've meditated for hours before. Just being still, okay? Going within and analyzing what's going on with inside myself. That takes patience. You need patience on this journey, right? A lot of guys don't have patience. Some guys make rash decisions and then you end up paying for the consequences. Right? You already know what I'm talking about. And this is another thing that's going to help you out is with your emotions. You know, that wave of energy that's just pulling you along. Some guys get into that mode, you horny, whatever it is, and you lose all control of self. All control. You got to control your emotions. You have to be a watchman of yourself. Meditation allows you to watch yourself. See what's going on inside of you. Okay? You got three different bodies that you need to watch. Your physical body, your mental body, and your emotional body. Okay? They all have their own energy. Your mental might be thinking one thing. Your emotions might be going one way. And your physical, your flesh might be trying to do its own thing. Right. Sometimes you got to sit back, be still and be like, all right, you know, we all need to come together. Physical, emotional, mental. We need to come together and talk about some things. I know I know you want to go this way. I know the, the flesh want to go this way. I know the mental, you know, you want to do your thing. But now nah, we need to come together right now and be one because we are one. One band, one sound. OK, we can't work at our highest capacity if we're not on the same page we have to be on the same page your body your mind your spirit your soul your heart everything has to be in one concordance you feel what i'm saying so meditation allows you to recenter yourself all right you see some cheeks and now you want to go home and do god knows what until you get that urge off Right. And sometimes we don't do it the right way. Meditation also allows you to circulate that energy, doing breath work, breathing exercises. You feel what I'm saying? There's techniques for this, man, that I explain all the time, clutching that PC muscle and bringing that energy up. See, when you meditate, you have to visualize what's going on inside of you. You have to visualize what you want, 
What is your intentions? So I'm going to give you all a key. This is a key that's going to help you. It's helped me for the past seven years. All right. You want to visualize your skeleton. You want to visualize all the veins and, and artery, the blood, the muscles in your body, the organs. Visualize how that looks inside of you. Okay. And then you start to command it with your thoughts. This sexual energy that I have built up, I want you to rise up through these chambers of my spine. Come up to my mind and unlock my true potential. Okay. Now, guys, when you do this, like I always say, I always make sure my connection with the most high is strong first and foremost. All right. Because some people say, well, you know, you can summon spirits or bad spirits, but that's what anything you do. It's all about your intention. It's not the tool. It's the intention. If your intentions are bad, you're going to summon bad. OK, so always make sure your intentions are righteous your intentions are something that's going to help you evolve. All right. You want to visualize these things, guys, and control it. Allow that energy to circulate throughout your body. Because if you don't do this, you're going to keep losing your energy over and over and over again. You're never going to evolve and grow. You have to be practical with your spiritual evolution, with your journey in life. You can't keep doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results. All right. You got to take a stand. You have to be the one to make the change within yourself. All right. I learned this. Before I was meditating, man, I used to release because my ego got in the way. I didn't have no control over myself because I would just be carried along by my emotions. I let my emotions run the show and you can't do that. This body, this is a beast. This is a wild animal. Okay? You have to be like an animal trainer. You have to train this beast. But you don't want to do it in a violent way. But you don't want to be careless either. And you never want this body to be in control. You always want to be the one that's in control and do it in a way where y'all can work together. That's what makes you a true animal trainer, a true master. Is being able to create harmony. With the mind, the body, the soul, the heart, the spirit. Without any conflict. Okay? Semen retention is the first step into ending this conflict with inside yourself. A lot of us don't even know who we truly are. Because we've never been in control of ourselves. We've always been controlled by other spirits. Why do you guys think you relapse sometimes without your consent or it's out of your control? Because you weren't in control. There was a spirit on you that was living out its dreams or living out its experience through you. You were just a vessel. This is why, guys, you got to be very mindful. You have to be able to sit still and monitor yourself. Be a watchman of what's going on. What is the motive behind your habits? A lot of you guys are being ruled by your habits. You're a slave. You're in bondage to your habits. Things that you've been doing over and over again to now it's embedded into your daily life. You got to break that bondage with your habits and try to see why. What is the motive behind this? What has kept me in chains to these habits every single day? Figure that out. That's when you truly become free. And when you do this, you will learn a true definition of I. Who am I? Because now you are taking yourself out of that robot state the i robot and you are giving control to the higher self you're letting the higher self be the programmer you're letting your higher self be the one in charge and this is when you're going to see things start to change you're going to see your journey start to be a lot more smooth you're going to see good things start to come into your life you're going to start receiving blessings okay Semen retention is a step for you to awaken your higher self. It's not just something we do for women attraction. It's not just something we do for the glow. It's not just something we do just to brag about it and say we did it. There is a bigger picture to this, guys. This is why I go so hard for it, because it has helped me awaken my true potential. Right, guys, I get so passionate about this because look what I'm doing right now. Right, I created this from, from the ground up. 
from nothing. I, I literally created something out of nothing, guys. I'm literally doing what I'm supposed to do right now. This is my purpose. But this wouldn't have happened if I didn't go through the mess. If I didn't make the mistakes. All through those years. Years ago before I was even on YouTube. That has molded and shaped me into the man I am. Okay? So I want you guys to realize you have to find yourself. Who are you truly? Not this automated state, not your habits, not you getting up every day and just letting life live you. No, you need to sit down, go with inside yourself and watch what's going on. And I'm telling you, when you start to watch yourself, you're going to find who the true master is. You're going to gain that true connection with the most high God. Remember, guys, I say this almost every video. The true kingdom of God is inside of you. OK. The treasure is within you. So your whole journey is finding that treasure. You are a treasure. Your energy is a treasure. OK. So, man, hey, let's take responsibility, bro. Let's raise the bar and let's go even harder to become our best version. All right. Retain Gang, it's your boy Tay. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a beautiful day, man. And I'm out. Peace.